Cherry blossoms are a symbol of spring in cities all over the world, thanks to imports from East Asian countries like Japan. One of the most popular destinations in the city of Toronto is High Park, located on Bloor Street West. For commuters, you can hop on the Line 2 subway route and get off at High Park Station, conveniently located just outside the park. In a few weeks, High Park will likely see hundreds of visitors coming to see their infamous cherry blossom trees, typically a light pink color. Actually, my best friend is visiting from out of town and we love High Park because of the animals and it's really pretty and now that it's spring it's even better and we really wanted to show her one of our favorite things about Toronto. Of course, if you want to avoid the crowds, there are plenty of other places in the city to view these blossoms. Students at the University of Toronto can take a break from the studies and look at the blossoms just outside Robarts Library. Some other locations include Trinity Bellwoods Park and Edwards Gardens, both decorated with cherry blossoms during the season. Uh, I'm a big fan of taking pictures of wildlife, some birds, the squirrels, uh, some of the dogs walking around, and I always like to take some time to take some photos of the, uh, the local flowers and trees and stuff. Definitely excited to see the cherry blossoms, and hopefully now that I've been practicing again lately, I'll get some good shots of them. In Toronto, we're used to seeing cherry blossoms at peak bloom sometime in May or late April, but it is possible we could see them earlier. The cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C. this year already peaked in the middle of March, making it the second earliest bloom in Washington's history. Due to the rise in global temperatures, travelers are having trouble predicting when to see the blossoms. The last few years have been record-breaking in terms of early bloom from the United States all the way to Japan. It doesn't help that these gorgeous blossoms have a short lifespan, only lasting around 10 days before falling. I'm in from town, from out of town visiting some friends of mine and they really like this place and I asked them to show me some of their favorite places in Toronto and so this happened to be on the list. When I was little, we had gone somewhere, I don't remember where exactly at the moment, but I did get to see some cherry blossoms, they were so pretty. To avoid missing out on the blossoms this year, you can track its progress on the High Park Nature Center website by searching up Cherry Blossom Watch in High Park. Here you will find daily updates of the blossoms. My name is Fariat Tabasum and this is the Toronto Observer.